Hello everyone. In this video, I'd like to show how to perform an independent two-sample hypothesis test using SPSS. Here is the first example. The keyword different indicates this question involves a two-tailed test. These are the null and alternative hypothesis statements. Please identify each population mean to be clear. Next, let's perform a two-sample independent test using SPSS. Let's perform a two-sample independent test using SPSS. Just make sure the setting on each variable by clicking on the Variable View tab at the bottom. Gender variable is set up as string type with nominal level measurement, while weight variables are set up as numeric type with scale measurement level. Click the Data View tab to go back to the spreadsheet. We use the weight A variable along with the gender variable to see if there is a significant difference between males and females. To start, click the Analyze menu, then Compare Means, and finally, Independent Simple T-Test. Then, we are going to move the target variable weight A into the test variable box. Since we want to see the difference between gender, we need to define groups. Press the gender variable into the grouping variable box, and then click on Define Group. Type capital M in group 1 box for males, and capital F in group 2 box for females. Please make sure the name you type for each one matches the names in the spreadsheet. If you do not do this, SPSS will not recognize each group. Click Continue. To set up the proper confidence level, click on Options. We use 5% as the significance level in this example, so the confidence level should be 100 minus 5 to get 95%. Keep it at 95. Then continue, click on OK. We now have the result of the test. We will use two tables for the decision. Here are the output from SPSS. As you can see, there are two results in the second table. One is equal variances assumed, and the other line is equal variances not assumed. We need to select which one should be used for this example. In order to do so, we'd like to use the simple standard deviations on the first table. Since variances are squared standard deviations, we try to estimate the variance values with the standard deviations. The standard deviation for male group is 17.65, while 16.49 is for female group, as you can see. They are not significantly different if you take 16.49 and times 2 to get roughly 33, and 17.65 is less than 33. So we just use the equal variances assumed line. The significance columns show p value. Since we are performing two tailed tests, our p value should be 0 0.406 in the two-sided P column. What do you think about the alpha value? Go back to the question sentence to see 5% at the alpha value. 
Here is a criterion for p-value approach. If p-value is less than or equal to alpha value, then we reject the null hypothesis. However, if the p-value is greater than alpha, then we do not reject the null. For our case, since the p-value 0.406 is greater than the alpha value 0.05, we do not reject the null. Therefore, there is not enough evidence to conclude that the population mean weight of males is different from that of females in a group. Here is another example. Again, we see the keyword higher in the question text, and this indicates the right tailed test, which is one tailed test. The null and alternative hypothesis statement should be like this. Again, please identify each mean. Then let's perform two independent sample tests using SPSS once again. Similar to the previous example, we use weight B variable along with the gender variable this time. Begin by clicking the Analyze menu, then choose Compare Means, and finally select Independent Samples t-test. We are going to move the target variable weight B into the test variable box instead of weight A. Since we need to see the difference between gender, we need to define groups as before. We already defined in the previous question. Again, please make sure to define each one using the exact letters M and F as written in the spreadsheet. Then click on Options to set up the confidence level. We are given 5% significance level in this example, and we use two-tailed confidence interval. So we need to consider another invisible left tail area when determining confidence level. Therefore, 100 minus 2 times 5 to get 90 as the confidence level. Enter 90, continue, and click on OK. Now we have result tables. We will use two tables for the decision. Here are the output from SPSS. Like before, you can see there are two lines of result in the second table. In order to select the adequate line, we'd like to use the sample standard deviations on the first table to estimate variance values, since variance is a squared standard deviation. The approximated standard deviation for male group is 15.1, while 14.4 for female group as you can see. They are not significantly different. So we can just use the equal variances assumed line again. Significance columns show p-value, which is the same as before. Here, we are doing one tailed test. Use one-sided p as the p-value which is 0.034. Then we need to indicate the alpha value from the question sentence to see 5% as the significance level. Once again, here is the decision rule for p-value approach. Since our p-value 0.034 is less than the alpha value 0.05, we reject the null hypothesis, HO. Therefore, there is enough evidence to conclude that the population mean weight of males is higher than that of females in group B. Please comment 
if you have any questions. Thank you for watching and see you again.